hello everyone we are back with another video and in this video we'll be covering what is m unit and how you can use m unit to build automated integration tests for your apis quickly and efficiently so before we start our video don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any notifications and new videos from us so let's get started So let's start with the introduction of MUnit. MUnit is basically a Mule application testing framework that allows you to easily build automated tests for your integrations and APIs. It provides a full suite of integration and unit test capabilities and is fully integrated with Maven and Surefire for integration with your continuous deployment strategy. Yes, for your CI CD strategy, you can also implement MUnit. Let's discuss some of the advantages of using MUnit. With MUnit, you can definitely create your tests by writing Mule code within AnyPoint Studio. You can mock processors. For example, if you would like to mock DB processor in the flow, you can simply do that by using mock processor. After that, you can use spy any processor to see the input and output going through that particular processor. You can also verify processor calls you can also enable or ignore particular tests you would like. You can use tag tests for tagging your particular tests for any flow. You can also check visual coverage in studio. And last but not least, you can generate coverage reports, which we will be doing in our demo. So without further ado, let's jump into the demo of using MUnit. In this MUnit demo, we will be covering the following MUnit processes. The number one processor is set event processor. After we will be doing a mock when processor, we will be mocking a database processor for the flow. And then we will be using assert by writing a particular condition. Then we will be checking the visual coverage in studio. And last but not least, we will be generating coverage reports. So let's jump into the demo. So I'm in my any point studio so what i have done here is i have created a project called m unit test and in this m unit test i have added an event listener here in the configuration it's a simple basic http listener configuration and i'm going to listen to base path sql and the path will be query so when i do a get this will trigger the process and the first uh, event processor is a set variable processor which will set the id which i need to make a select query which we retrieve from the query parameter so i have used a select db processor so in this the connector configuration is mysql database uh, i have connected uh, my local database uh, with the user root and the password and the database that I have created in MySQL workbench is test database. If you don't know how to uh, create your own uh, database schema, you can let us know in the comment section down below and we can make a video on how you can connect a local database to your AnyPoint studio. So after I have connected the uh, database to my any point studio select processor i have written a query it's a simple query which will select uh, everything from the uh, test schema and test table where the id is the employee id and this employee id is coming from the variable id after that i'm simply converting the uh, payload in uh, json and i'm simply logging it so if i run this processor in debug process I'll just click on proceed. So it will try to debug this flow. I'll say remember my decision. So the application has been deployed now. So what I'll do, I'll use my Postman to hit this flow. So this is my Postman and I'm doing a simple get query to my localhost 8081 where the path is SQL query and the param is uh, id equals to 1. 
so I would like to retrieve just one uh, record from my database that I have set up. So I'll hit send and it will trigger the flow here. So the set variable, the ID will be one and the select a uh, database will help me to retrieve the value. So here you can see the ID is one, first name is between two and last name is Muse. So after I retrieve the payload from uh, database, I'm simply transforming the uh, payload in JSON and I'm simply logging it. So in my postman, I will retrieve first name, ID, last name. So this is coming from the database, right? So now I will show you how we can use MUnit to basically do our testing for this particular flow. So I'll change the perspective now. So what you need to do, you have to right click on this flow. First you stop the project, then you right click on this flow and here you will get an option M unit and you can simply say create blank test for this flow. So once you click that, it will automatically create a folder source test M unit and it will create that particular test flow for this particular flow. So if I double click on this M unit test flow, this will be empty. Usually you will just get a, a flow reference in the execution part. So we have three parts in M unit, the execution, the behavior and validation. So the hierarchy is first, it will run the execution part. Then it will run the behavior part followed by the validation part. So in the execution, I have added a processor called set event. So from where you can get it in the M unit. So when you click on create a blank test for this flow, it will create M unit dependencies in our POM XML. So generally M unit dependency is divided into two parts, M unit and M unit tools. So I'll show you the dependency. So as you can see here, we have M unit tools dependency and we have M unit dependency. So it will create two dependencies for our M unit to basically build a test flow. So in M unit, we have the processor called set event. Set event processor allows you to define a mule event. Basically this message processor is normally used at the beginning of an M unit test to define the first message to send to the flow being tested. So what I have done here, I have simply drag this set event operation and put it in execution. So this will be the first step that will run in our M unit test flow. So if I double click this in the attribute, what I have done, I have added the query parameter where the ID is one. So what it will be doing, it will be bypassing this listener call and it will be grabbing the event from here for our testing purposes. And after that, it will go to the flow reference M unit test flow and it will start from this variable set variable. The next step is if I would like to mock the behavior of any processor, for example, in this case, I would like to mock select DB. So I don't want to hit my real DB. I just want to mock this process. So in order to do that, what I have done is I have created a sample JSON. So you can create a sample JSON in source test resources. And here I have created a sample JSON. Here the values that I have given are different from my database, just to show you guys that it is grabbing the values from this JSON and not from the real database. So the ID one, the first name is Shub and the last name is between two mules. So after it uh, do the mock for that particular processor, it will move forward to transform message. So here it will simply transform the payload in JSON format and after that it will log the message. So this completes our flow. After the behavior, the next step is validation. So here you can add certain assertions. So the assert that event processor allows you to run assertions to validate the state 
of a mule events content so this assert that and mock when you will find in m unit tools so here you can see mock when processor and assert that processor in assert that what i have done is i have simply uh, provided a condition i just wanted to validate whether the payload is null or not if the payload is not a null value it will pass that assertion so now this ends our m unit uh, flow so i'll try to debug this m unit suite so i have added a breakpoint here just to show you guys how it works so the processor is running and the first uh, step is set event and i'll step into and here it will go to the flow reference now and if you will see the attribute section it already it it already took the value query params and the id is 1 so now it will go to the flow reference and it will skip the event listener so the first processor will be set variable processor and the set variable processor the value will be id equal to 1 because here what we are doing we are grabbing the attributes dot query params dot id which is the id that we have presented in the set event so now instead of calling the select uh, db processor it will mock this processor and it will try to grab the value from the sample json so now if you see it grabbed the value from the sample json and the id is 1 and the first name is shiv and the last name is between two mules earlier it was different right because it was actually retrieving the value from the uh, original database so now it will simply transform the payload and it will log the behavior and now at last we will do the assertion just to make sure the payload is not null which is true in this case and it should assert that so now it's going to run and it will say done so it will shut down the coverage server and it will calculate the application coverage so if you click on this m unit it will show you that it did run one time and it was a successful uh, run and if you go back to the uh, mule design perspective if you can click here it will show you that the run was successful perfect if you click on m unit coverage it will show you the report you can click on generate report and it will show you the application coverage and the coverage here is 100% so this is how you can create m unit flow for any of your flow that you would like to test So this will be it for this video. If you would like to see other processors, please don't forget to comment down below and we will be definitely making videos on that. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on more content like this and much more. Thank you for watching.